They're like, yeah, we told you. And then when you still have that one stubborn dude who's been used to having converses and he's been loading his heels up so much to where it just throws everything off. So now he kind of has to relearn that movement pattern about being a little bit more forward. And other than that, it's fine. Yeah, I think the first time I came to Wichita Falls, I had a pair of chucks and uh, I got told off pretty quickly about wearing those in the gym and I uh, had to use a pair of the... It was like a, there's like 60 pairs. The relics. Of, yeah, there's 60 <laughs> pairs of like old crappy weightlifting shoes out the back that God knows, you know, how much fungus I picked up from those. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's just, it's, uh, it was funny. The last, the seminar that I helped staff in June, there was a guy who wore like the, those toe shoes. The what? Oh, the Vibrams? And, yeah, those, <laughs> I just call them toe shoes. And Rip had just stated previously, like, or Rip or Nick, someone had, Stated that we need squat shoes on the platform. It doesn't matter if you're lifting in converses or whatever the hell you got, you try to grab some lifting shoes from the back rack. So this guy doesn't listen, of course. And I kind of catch Rip out of the corner of my eye, kind of like just drawing to him, like shark looking for an open prey in the water. So he grabs a five pound from the weight tree, kind of stands next to the dude, and then slams the five pounds right next to the dude's foot. Like, whoops. And then <laughs> It's like, you better go change your shoes. I was like, that, that didn't really even serve a purpose, but <laughs> I guess it scared them into wearing weightlifting shoes. I mean, a five-pound plate on a weightlifting shoe is still going to hurt. I mean, it's yeah, it is. probably going to hurt less, slightly less. Yeah, I, I don't know. I guess you can't aim for your pinky toe if it's separated. Yeah, true. 